I'm Jamie Costello with your WMAR 2 News Update. Governor Larry Hogan is pressing our senators and congressmen from Maryland to help move the needle down in D.C. when it comes to this second COVID stimulus package. In a letter sent Monday, Governor Hogan asked Maryland's two U.S. senators and eight representatives to put aside their political differences, work together with leadership, and come up with a new relief bill. On Thursday, he announced plans to distribute $70 million from the Federal CARES Act. That money will help the state fight the spread of the virus, protect those on the front line, and support the Labor Department, serving the people who are out of work. But the need is only expected to grow in the next couple of weeks. The COVID-19 testing site at the Baltimore Convention Center is now extending its hours to meet a growing demand for testing. The center set a record high number of patients on Friday, so will now be open three days a week instead of two. You can get tested there on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays from eight in the morning until two in the afternoon. You can either make an appointment or walk in for a test. Well, there won't be any fans allowed at Sunday's Ravens game against the Titans. The team made the decision after talking with Governor Hogan and Mayor Young. They're also still dealing with Sunday night's loss against the Patriots. The game ended 23 to 17 and Coach Harbaugh says one of the big problems, the Ravens offense. We want more big plays for sure. We want, we want catch and run plays. We took numerous uh, you know, opportunities to try to throw the ball deep in that game and uh, we didn't, didn't, none of them really happened. And injuries have also become a problem for the Ravens, just to name a few. Tight end Nick Boyle done for the season because of a knee injury and defensive tackle Brandon Williams left the game yesterday with an ankle injury. He's expected to be out for a week, maybe even more. We are tracking a chilly start to the morning here with numbers in the low 40s, but we will climb into the mid 50s as we head into the afternoon, at least the lower 50s, keeping a mix of sun and clouds in the forecast throughout the day where our daytime highs climb to 53 here in the city of Baltimore. We're at 49 from Westminster to Parkton with temperatures unfortunately getting a little bit cooler as we head towards the middle of the week down to 45 for your Wednesday, keeping the elevated wind. So we're going to be talking about wind chill for a couple of days. The good news, we rebound into the 60s by Friday and your weekend is look or picture perfect mid 60s with lots of sunshine. Uh, liking that. Thank you, Patrick. All right, click with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're out there on the go, download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent right to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.